Kerwin's Game Store, the best place in gaming. Whether it's uh, Tezzeret, whether it's the Mono Blue Tezzeret or Rao Zarek, or just Voltaic Key, and they just are going infinite, and it's great, and it's, lo it's lovely to watch. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, Owen Turtonwald tweet, uh, tweeted a picture. It was, he went, turn one, the in t turn one, lay six cards on the battlefield, of which were, there was Voltaic Key, Voltaic Key and Time Fault, uh, Basalt Manolith, a Grim, uh, the Zero Mana one, the Zero Mana Mana Rock, and uh, a Mox, and a Mana Crypt, a Mox, and a Land. And his hand was like two black cards, and he said, Well, I guess this is good. <laughs> we got our players drawing, drawing their seven card hands. TJ looks like he has one land, two he lands. has two lands. I don't know if. I don't think there's island, a lot of red there. I don't think Island is what TJ wants there. I mean, he has Island Mystic Monastery. Pat's hand looks like there's three lands, two favorite hoplites, and... I bet Pat's afraid to mulligan now. <laughs> it's, it's not an exciting hand. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's fine. I, I feel like with that deck you're going to get a lot of fine hands. But there's certain points where you should mulligan and you shouldn't mulligan, and that, that'll probably come with. It makes me miss when Geist is in the Invisible Stalker ring. She decides to keep the hand. Turn one Mystic Monastery. Go ahead. Is that Tranquil Cove? Yep. <clears throat> Pat goes up to 21. That does look like a pretty Tranquil Cove. I mean... Oh, TJ top decks uh, Temple of Epiphany, I'm pretty sure. He scries that away and passes the turn back to Pat. Pat's just going to play a one-drop this turn and pass it. So he's go TJ figures, and play I'll play a Goblin Ravel Master. <laughs> this guy's been pretty good to me thus far. Lock. Yeah. Oh no! Take that Goblin Ravel Master. Meet your 1 1 enemy. <laughs> Meet your 1 2 enemy. 1 2 enemy. <laughs> the, natural, the natural enemy of the Goblin Ravel Masters. How many Goblin Ravel Masters does TJ have Four in his them. hand? Four of them. I don't. Uh, he has a lot. He has at least two. Like every, spe every spell in TJ's hand is red. Okay, there's two lightning strikes, two goblin rabble masters, a hoardling outburst, and a stoke the flames. Seems alright. So TJ this turn can uh, cast hoardling outburst. <coughs> hoardling outburst or goblin rabble master, either one. Maybe it's the rabble master so that. You get both tokens, and then you can use those to try to stoke something. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that damage adds up really fast. Especially when you get to save your tokens by stoking. Two Rabble Masters. Two Rabble Masters. Two Rabble Masters. Five feet. What? Too many Rabble Masters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No speaking, uh, Kami around here, man. Whoa, let's say that. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna fetch with the... Cove? Why is what? That... What is that? Can what? he save... No, no, no. What is that card right now? I'm blanking. He's blanking. What? Flooded Strand. Thank you. Flooded Strand. <laughs> I was gonna say Flooded Cove. Oh, he's gonna stubborn denial and make him pay one and he can't. Ooh. Kini says, alright, I didn't want it that much anyway. I just didn't want to attack my Gerblins. I wanted my I wanted to save up my goblin army. He did ward in the Bremaz. Oh yeah. You know how good that's gonna be right here? Oh yeah. I mean It'll be good. You can just stoke the Bremaz. Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think he's playing it right now. The one of Ordeal of Heliod to the rescue again. Coming back in, it's gonna scry. 
He's gonna scry, he's gonna get that trigger, he's gonna swing, get a token on that guy. She just goes, she just gotta take it. He takes four, I think. He just like, you don't know nothing about damages. Yeah, he's been coming in for a lot. For a lot. So we can have his goblins enter. I'm not. Even, I'm not even sure the line of play to take. He just <laughs> sideways. <laughs> just throws caution to the wind. Each rabble master gets plus four, plus four. TJ just took four. Oh, TJ took four from the uplight. So TJ should be at twelve. No, 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 nah. No, TJ only took four one time. Okay. So, uh, Pat's gonna take a lot. Is that four plus six? And he bow oh god, that's so much damage. Pat takes 11 damage and goes to 10. So this seems over because of literal Goblin Rabble Master. Because of Goblin Rabble Master, Goblin Rabble Master. Holding up first. <laughs> hey man, this is my Goblin deck. Oh, he counters it again. I don't oh. even think it matters that much. Like it oh, would have been he's dead. It would have been the nail in the coffin, but these stubborn eyes didn't he's work. Gonna, he's gonna gain ten life. Pat's at nine. Hmm. Oh, I missed two damage from earlier. So Pat's like I mean he's gonna gain ten life right now though, right? Probably. Yeah. So Pat's gonna go to nineteen. And he's gonna crash in for what? Three, four, five, six? Four, five, or five. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Granted, he doesn't put anything else on it. He has an ordeal of Thassa he might play first. I think, he, I think he'll put the ordeal of Thassa on it, this way and then draw cards, maybe draw a land and get a so free hit, mess. So he would hit him for six. Oh, he's dead, though, I think, that maybe. Yeah, I actually think he has to block. Oh, no, well, he may, well, he's going to go to 19 life. I don't think he can deal 19. Uh, six and well, eight think. and eight. No, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be six, eight, and eight. That's only. That's twenty-two. That's not even fully dead. Just <coughs> so mostly dead. You should hit Pedro the Huh? I'm. Just, I was. I was waiting for Pat to. Uh, attack and trigger. Yeah, to attack and trigger, but I'm not sure that he's gonna do it. He doesn't have a choice. He needs to attack and trigger. Uh, yeah. And then put the, he, he, there's no reason not to put Thassa on that. Draw land. I mean, hopefully you draw land. With, I, the, with the amount of lands he's been drawing, I feel like he's going to take the safer route. I don't, why is he making that block right now? To make it bigger? The, like, it's... It's, it's mana efficient. Well, it's not, it's not the right play. He didn't do Thassa. He didn't do anything. He just attacked. He didn't have life. So TJ takes five and Pat gains ten. And Pat plays a Bremaz. Uh, so TJ's at eleven. And Pat might just be dead. Yeah, Pat's dead. GG Bob. Sorry, Pat. <laughs> yeah, TJ can just so hard. TJ can just glare of heresy. Or play another Goblin Rabble Master! Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, uh, TJ says, yeah, I'll ship in with, uh, my Goblin deck. <laughs> yeah, everybody's coming to the party. Block one of the Goblin Rabble Masters, you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. You take 16. He's not dead? He's not dead. See, if TJ had just glared, I'm not... Well, well, TJ can't just glare. Because if he tries to glare, Pat can protect it. So Pat goes to 3, I'm fairly positive. Uh, he's at 1. I probably missed one of them. So Pat's at one. Uh, <laughs> he, pl close? he plays a he he plays a flooded strand. You know I I can I can crack this whenever I want. 
I just don't want to right now. Not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> not even close. Not even close. <laughs> Pat doing his best. I don't even know if like. But you don't even have an answer to those goblins. No, but if you can kill them. You know? Uh, if he damage, draws two cards? He draws two fire spells. Nope. Two nope. fire. Oh. I mean, just on fire. They need to be on fire. So eight? Yeah, he would have to draw Defiant Strike, God's Willing. Yeah. Which is out. And that's the game, folks. Twelve. All right. Well, well that least, concludes that. Hey, at least it was fun. At least that time was actually we finally a, a game. Games, yeah. Um, sad for Pat. I sad mean, for Pat. He played well. He was XO on the day, and then just got goblin two times in a row. Twice in a row, yeah. <laughs>